So today I want to talk about the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Who is here for it? A YouTuber <laughs> turned boxer, Jake Paul, 27 years old, is scheduled to fight boxing legend Mike Tyson, 57 years old, on Netflix July 20th. Um, so there's a long ways to go until this until this fight happens. But I just want to know, is this a good idea? I mean, there is a 30 year uh, difference between them. There's also an experience deficit between the two of them. Um, do we do we want to see this happen? What happens if Jake Paul wins? I mean, there's so many questions going on around in my head. I personally I can't even believe this fight is happening. Like this man is like 57 years old. Like, but you know what? I saw Mike Tyson fight Roy Jones Jr. not too long ago, and Mike Tyson actually looks like he's in good shape. Sure. Um, and I will say, um, Jake Paul, um, I'm praying for you, man, because all it takes is one swing and one hit connect to your face, and he will be on the ground. Well, and that's that's what I mean by <laughs> Tyson has way more experience. Oh than Paul. yeah, so much more experience. I mean, yes, there is a 30 year age gap, but you can't make up for the experience. Right. And I think one thing I will say about Jake Paul is he knows how to make money. I think the cool thing about this is he said the zone, he made money with the zone. This is actually going to be on Netflix from what be. I'm hearing. It will be. This is going to be Netflix's first live event. Uh, I think sporting event wow. pretty much. So, I mean, this is, this is just crazy. I mean, he is actually making money for all these different platforms and he's not stopping. One, uh, one thing I will say about him is going into fighting experienced boxers, he's picking the older generation first, and then he's going to probably gradually move to people that are his age. Oh, I think that's smart. So you see a strategy behind that. <laughs> I see a big time strategy because I'm like, you're 20 something years old. Why are you not fighting like a boxer like in his prime right now? I think that's like a title contender because he'll get beat up. Uh, I'm, he, I'm just saying maybe just saying. but i think it's just because he wants to flex he wants to flex he that does. he he um fought mike tyson and you know how many people in the world exactly can say that so but again how are we gonna feel I, i'm not saying i'm on one side or the or the other but how would we feel if jake paul won this fight Man. wouldn't that be terrible for mike tyson and his it, fans it would be terrible for mike tyson but i kind of look at it in two ways i'll be sad for mike because i'm rooting for mike uh, i mean east coast all day i mean okay. that, that's you know casco new york god give it up rooting for you mike but if he loses one he could go man i'm old man i've been over the hill for like 10 years i just psh, it was a money grab i got some money <laughs> now but it depends on how he loses if he loses really, really bad, man, there'll be people making fun of him because we got social media now. But if he loses and it's close, he, man, I'm old, man. I'm just excited about having a real life punch out because I used to love that video game when I was Yeah, Mike there. Tyson punch out. And, and they kind of look like, if you look at the memes that have been going around, <laughs> they kind of look like some of the characters that are on there. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely talk to us on our Instagram. Let us know if you guys used to play Mike Tyson punch out. Man, I used to always get to Mike Tyson and get beat up. That's what always used to happen to me. That was cool. <laughs> exactly. I don't think I've ever played this game. You never played? <laughs> no. Me and, and was, Joseph have no idea what you're talking about It was about crazy. Right we're we're going we're gonna to show you guys because I have my, my laptop here today. The punches would be like robotic. They would throw punches like this. That's okay. how old the game was. <laughs> and like... The funny thing was you, you were like this little guy character, so all your punches you were like jumping off the off your feet to hit people. <laughs> it was hilarious. But I think to answer your question, if Jake Paul wins, it's gonna bring him a lot of attention. It's gonna bring a lot more fights his way. Sure. And it's gonna bring him all kinds of money. I'll be shocked myself. And a little bit more credibility, I would And say. a little more credibility. Now he has been working hard. Don't don't take me you know, I'm not trying to say he's not a good fighter. He's not doing his work. He trains hard. He's got a lot of boxing trainers that have been professionals in his corner. So he is really taking this serious. But if he does win, I think this will be his eye opening win. Like people will really start shifting their attention to Jake Paul. They'll go, man, he, he actually beat Mike Tyson. Of course, there'll be people like me. I ain't going to hate, but I, I'm going to hate right now. I'm like, man, Mike was like 80 years and old. That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. He might win, but people will be like, okay, well, you won on somebody who's 30 years older than you. Like, it's not, 
you know, the flex you're thinking. No, now, now if he get knocked out, man, I'm going to be the other direction. I'm like, man, Mike knocked him out. Okay, so for Mike, for Mike, this is high risk, high reward. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because if he loses, I mean, the Internet's going to have a field day with him if he loses. I mean, and I'm sure he's going to feel bad about it himself. But if he wins, everyone's going to be like, man, you, you uh, fought somebody who's 30 years younger than you and you won. I think that that's going to be yeah. a high reward for him. And I think Mike Tyson, to me, it's he's already a, a celebration story, right? Because everything that he went through and now he's got like his own podcast. He went and did a tour about his life. Um, it was like a theatrical play. Um, and now he's got hot boxing. So he's already being celebrated from people that like were a fan of his already. Because they saw what, you know, his his downhill spiral and now he's back up being Mike Tyson mm-hmm. again. So if he wins a fight like this, people are already be they're already excited about him. They'll already be even more excited about right, him. Right, right. Um so I think either way it's a win win for both. Both guys. Well we'll see what happens July twentieth. Exactly. Will you, will you be watching? I will be watching July 20th. That's like It's a ways away. That's a ways away. I, for some reason I thought that was coming up. But um, um, I thought it was going to be like in April or like, you know, May or something. But wow, July. And is it going to be in Vegas? I'm assuming that I do not know. OK, Um, the cool. I don't know if I know I got the most spanned sports people up in here right now. But there was a boxing fight that happened yesterday between uh, MMA fighter Francis Ngannou and uh anthony joshua and um yes tell us all about it the way anthony joshua anthony joshua won by second round knockout and the way he knocked out francis and ganu if mike tyson hits jake paul that could be the the you know the precursor of what we (laughs) saw last night i'm I'm just saying (laughs) but you guys i know uh, i'll show y'all the clip off air when we go into some music but you know what but both of the guys it fits this song we're going to get into. Risk It All. They're about to risk it all. They Jake are. Paul and Mike Tyson. Risk It All. Her, Usher.